guys, it's Lilypad. I'm back here with episode 3 of Crazy Candy Creations. Today's, uh, today's recipe that we're going to make is cannolis! <laughs> I'm so excited because I love cannolis. They go in my belly. We're going to make cannolis. So the first, um, I have in front of me the ingredients for the shell part. And like, if you don't know what a cannoli is, it's like a fried dough shell with ricotta cream filling in the middle, ricotta cheese in the middle. And it tastes really good. So, here in front of me I have the ingredients for the, um, <laughs> the shell. Um, and so the ingredients are two cups of flour, a tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of butter, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, um, a tablespoon of cocoa, unsweetened cocoa powder, and six tablespoons of Marsala wine. Um, this, um, the alcohol will just like burn off when, you, when, when you fry the dough. So now we're going to make our dough. So the first step you got to do is just add in all your dry ingredients. So we got our cocoa powder and our little cinnamon. And then you're going to mix that. I'm going to use my hands because I don't have anything else. You mix them until they, they're all combined. I'm going to dust that off a little. Then you're going to take your butter and then just mash it in. I'm just going to use my hands because Mr. Potato Masher isn't working with me. And then after your butter's all mixed in, then you're going to add your Marsala wine in there and mix it up until it's you you don't have to pack the dough into like a really like a really um a really firm push together ball you just have to do it until you just have to um make it until it's like a loose um meal sort of but a little firmer than a meal so I gotta keep kneading this until it's all um, all evenly mixed in. All right, so when your dough is all mixed up, you're gonna take it and pack it into sort of a loose ball like that, and then take a little piece of plastic wrap, plop it right on there, and then wrap the dough in the plastic wrap and then you want to put this guy in the refrigerator and then we're going to make the filling of our cannolis. So now I have my sister here to help me make the filling. Hello everybody. And um, what you're going to need for the filling is a pound of ricotta cheese and you want to strain it a little bit. See there's all that stuff on the bottom. You're going to need a quarter cup of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. You're gonna need a third of a cup of lemon juice, a tablespoon of vanilla, a half a cup of super fine sugar, and a quarter cup of orange zest. So this is really easy to make. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cheese, oops, Pour it in there. Then you're gonna take your chocolate chips and your vanilla. Then you're gonna take your your uh, lemon juice. Pour it in there. Make sure it has no seeds if you're using fresh lemons. Um, your your sugar. right in there 
and your zest. <laughs> your zest. Eating it already. And you're just gonna mix it up until they're all evenly combined. So now that I have my filling over here, see that looks good already. I want to eat it. Um, you're gonna take plastic wrap, cover it up, and refrigerate it. All right. So for phase two of making the dough, I've got my dough. You're gonna need to refrigerate it for 45 minutes. And the other things you're gonna need are some flour to dust the surface, a knife, um, an egg white, a rolling pin, a surface. I'm using a cutting board, but you can use whatever you want. A little cannoli tube. I love these things. So cool. Um, you can buy these online or, you know, wherever they sell these. So the first thing you're going to do is spread your surface with a little flour. And rub that. Then you're going to take your dough, unwrap it, and then you're going to split it into two parts. Like Then you're gonna set one part aside, and then you're gonna take the other part and roll it out. And then you have to roll it out really, really thin, as thin as you can make it. When you've rolled out your dough, you're gonna cut a circle, and it has to be pretty big depending on the length of your cannoli tubes and you can use a cookie cutter or a knife as I'm using you can use a but you can also use a cookie cutter then you're gonna take out your dough from around the broke over there all right, so after you've cut out a circle, roughly, um, you can, you have to make it into an oval shape with your rolling pin. So then after you have your oval, you're just gonna take your cannoli tube and wrap it around the tube. And then after you have one side, you're gonna take your egg white and you know you can use a brush but I don't have that kind of fancy stuff so I'm just gonna use my fingers and this is your glue so you're just gonna smear that on and and put on the other side and then after you put that over you're gonna mush it down and put a little more egg on there to seal it closed like that and then you're gonna do that again for all your cannoli tubes. So once you have your cannolis and they're all fried and they're relatively cool, you can take these uh, metal things out before they're completely cool. So if they're too hot for you to touch, you just take these and I'm using pliers today and you just take that and take them out. And these things are gonna be hot, so don't touch them that much. And then see it makes a cannoli. That's just perfectly, it's really cool. So once your cannolis have all cooled and you take out the little cannoli tube things, then you have to fill your cannolis. But keep in mind that this is very important. Only fill your cannolis 
right before you're going to eat them. Because if you fill them a few days or, you know, a few days before you're going to eat them, then the filling will seep into the shell and it's going to get really soft and mushy. And you don't want that because you want to combine the cream with the crunchiness of the shell. So the way you fill your um, cannolis is you're going to need to take your filling out of the refrigerator and you are going to need a plastic bag or a piper, a piping bag, and then you're going to fill in the bag with the cannoli cream or your piping bag. I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Got a lot. Then you are going to cut a biggish, a big hole. Oh. Let me just let that go down, 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 down. And then you're gonna cut a biggish hole. Then you're just gonna fill your cannolis from each side and make sure you get the filling in the middle too and then fill it just a little out and then add your cannoli and then just do that to the rest of your cannolis so now i have my dad and my sister here for the taste test we have three cannolis here to taste and they're going to be awesome. I'm already giving mine five stars. Mm, are you? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that orange zest is so good in them. Ah. What do you five give it? Out of, what's the scale again? One to five. I give it a seven. <laughs> oh. I I give it a million. <laughs> I give it infinity. Oh. I'm gonna do it in the next video in the next week probably. <laughs> if we're able to wake up tomorrow. Please subscribe. Bye.